Now we've finished knitting the length of the foot following the pattern and we're ready to change color again to do the toe and um, to th then finish up the rest of the stocking. The toe is very much like what we did in the gusset. There's just a little difference and I'm going to show you how to work that now. Actually there are two little differences. So here we are. I need to knit one more and now I'm at the beginning of my row at the back of my heel. I'll slip that marker and we knit very much like, whoops, I'm not changing color. I'm supposed to be changing color. Here we go. I put my needle in like I'm ready to knit, leave myself about a six inch tail, wrap the needle and pull it through, and then just keep knitting with the cream color yarn. The last row of the foot, I had you place markers, and they're in a slightly different spot than they were when you were doing the heel gusset decreases. So we're going to knit to three stitches before the marker, knit two together, knit one, slip the marker, knit one, and then SSK, slip, slip, knit those two together. Then we knit to three stitches before the next marker. Heel uh, shaping, well, toe shaping goes twice as fast as heel shaping because we are going to have four decreases every round rather than two. So the toes always go really quickly. Okay. Here we are, three stitches before this marker, knit two together, knit one, slip marker, knit one, and SSK. Again, we're, whoops, I split that stitch. Again, we're doing mirror image decreases around the markers. And then I'm going to knit to the end. That's a decrease round. And after this one, we're going to do a plain knit round and then another decrease round. And you'll follow your pattern to see how many decrease rounds to do and how many plain knit rounds to do. Okay, we're back at the beginning of the round. And I'm not quite there yet, but I'm going to demonstrate to you how to switch to double pointed needles. Eventually, we're going to keep decreasing and these circular needles are going to be too long for how little the toe gets. So, let me grab some double pointed needles. We can't really use that marker anymore, so we'll just let it go. I'll put my needle in. Some people think that you have to like transfer the stitches over to the double pointed needles. We're just going to start working with them. You put your needle in, the double pointed needle, and just wrap it and pull it through like you're knitting with the circular needles. And this is a plain knit round with no decreases, so this is an easy one to work with. And I'm going to knit up to the next marker, which is a great place to start my second double pointed needle. Okay, can't use that marker anymore. Don't need it. Just start knitting off the circular needle with my second double pointed needle. Whoops, these double pointed needles are really sharp. I like them, but on worsted weight yarn like this, they can sometimes split the stitches. Okay, anyway, I think you're getting the idea. I'm knitting off of the circular needle and getting everything onto three double pointed needles. I'll knit up to this next marker, take it out, and put the last section of stitches between the markers on the third double pointed needle. Now, since we don't have stitch markers anymore, I do want you to remember where the beginning of your round is, which is the back of your heel right here. So, we're going to take a little clippy stitch marker and put it in like that. And um, th this will substitute the ring markers that we had when we were using the circular needle. That'll remind you where the beginning of your round is between the two needles right here. 
So you're going to continue decreasing and following the pattern until you get down to the number of stitches. It's very few stitches that the pattern tells you. And then you can come back here and I'll show you how to graft the toe using the Kitchener stitch. Thank <laughs> you.